Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be dropping this video in a little bit of an odd date for me because if everything goes according to the plan, I'm going to be dropping this video on Sunday, the 23rd of December, which is literally the day before Christmas, but hold your horses because there's a really good reason for it. So let's get into it. So the purpose of this video is just to give you a couple of ideas or just to inspire you during this, you know, present season, just to think out of the box and use your talents to give this really out of the box, this really cool, unique gift to the ones you love. And that's exactly what I did. Instead of just buying something like a generic gift card which has no soul or maybe like a nice piece of clothing or something like that, you're going to give something that you actually created yourself and it has more value, in my opinion. So, we're going to be talking about three particular ideas that you're going to be making from scratch as a creator that, trust me, is going to blow everybody's head off. And the whole point of this video is to give you a rough idea on how creative you can get when it comes to give a present to someone. So let's start with number one. We're going to start talking about calendars. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but if you think about it, a calendar is something that everybody needs. And in my case, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are with me on this one. I hate putting random no. on my wall. I really, really, truly do. There is a practical side to it. I'm not going to deny it. Like having a calendar where you can actually write your stuff down or something like that, it is kind of useful. But what happens if you make a really cool, badass calendar for the ones you love? you can actually create something that is going to sit in the wall and it's going to look amazing. And on top of that, it's going to be very useful. This is not particular just for photographers. This is not for particular for, for painters. This is, you know, like designers, illustrators, photographers. If you draw, like, you know, all of these fields, actually you can create something amazing visually to give. The first thing is going to be thinking about what the person receiving this gift likes. In my particular case, I know that I made this for a couple and I know they're into vintage type of designs and stuff like that. So that's the route that I decided to take. So once that you know which direction you're taking, once that you've actually selected a little bit of material, it's time for the calendar itself. So this is actually quite simple. All I did was I went to Google and I wrote free template calendar 2019. And then you get all this list of all these really amazing artists. So it's just a simple of picking up the one you like, download it, and then you can put them together in, in Photoshop or Illustrator or something like that. In my case, I did it in Photoshop and Illustrator actually both together. So once you're happy with the final result, all you have to do is print it. If you happen to have a printer at home, well, more than perfect. Just by all means, make sure you print your valuable work into some really nice paper because you don't want to take a regular cheap ass looking paper because that's going to scream cheap. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just going to make no sense at all to put all that effort in probably hours of work and then you print it into this piece of crap paper, you know? And just to finish the whole thing up with a Dutch, just get a pants hanger. I know it sounds bloody weird, but it's going to look so cool. I'll make sure I'll, I'll add a link on the description box down below. It's 5.45 and outside it looks like it's like 12 feet. Uh, not important. So the second gift idea we're going to be talking about is vouchers or gift certificates. And I'll really like this one because this could bring you more customers in the future, but let's just pinpoint this and let's keep talking about vouchers. So from a photographer's point of view, I love giving a gift certificate to a person I love. And the reason for that is that you can be so creative with this, you know, like you can take, for example, a nice headshot for a LinkedIn profile, take a Christmas portrait, you can take a couple shooting, you know, like you are giving your time, you put in your effort. And again, the cool thing is that if you're good at what you do, you know, like let's say for example, you end up making a couple shooting, right? The couple are going to show the, the photos on the social media platforms and that could create potential customers in the future. And do not forget that really, really cool presentation makes you look very professional. If you decided to give a voucher for someone for Christmas, make sure you actually put the time and the effort 
in creating a nice voucher. Just not write it on a piece of paper because that does not come across as very, very professional. And again, we're trying to give something original, but at the same time, we want to keep professional and hopefully get some clients in the future. So if you're giving a voucher, make sure you go into Photoshop or Illustrator or something like that and you actually create something very cool with it. If you don't feel like it, there are actually plenty platforms out there with templates for gift certificates, vouchers, and like endless possibilities of, of gifts ideas. But there's one that I really, really like, and I have to say that I've used uh, actually a number of times, and that is Canva. With this website, it's so simple, you know, like you just enter the keywords or what you're looking for, and then you're going to get all these different templates. So all you have to do is like, think of it as playing with Legos, you know, like you can remove, put, change, combine, like it's just a little bit of a, a personal taste. And at the end, once you're happy with everything you've done, you can actually download it and print it in again, some really good quality paper and you're good to go. How cool is that? How, seriously, like if you think about it, if someone comes to you like, hey, listen, like I'm a great photographer, here's a voucher for a photo shooting. I'll be so bloody happy, I know. I know that sometimes it's a lot of effort, but I guess at the end of the day, it really depends on how committed you are and how much are you willing to go the extra mile, you know, for this present. So let's talk about the third gift idea. And this is if you're feeling a little bit lazy and it's by no means worse in regards of giving because trust me, this is really cool, but it does make the work a little bit easier. And it's just giving a really nice piece of art framed. So let's say that you're in a rush or you just, are so busy that you can't put the effort into going and making a photo shooting for someone or just creating something for a calendar or something like that. All you have to do is go to your archives, pick a really cool picture if, if that's something that you like or if, if you're a designer, like a very cool designer or uh, illustration or drawing, whatever it may be, and just send it to print. Once you get it print, all you have to do is find a really cool frame that you can simply go to Ikea, you can go through a thrift shop, you can do whatever your heart desires. For example, let me just show you something real quick. So, I hope there's not much reflection here going on, but this is something that I, I gave a couple of friends not a, uh, five years ago. Whoa, time flies. Wow. Uh, anyways, <laughs> this is... um. I'm not quite sure if I've mentioned this before on this channel, but um, I make music as well. And I'm actually not that bad, I don't suck that much. So this was the, the cover of my first um, EP. So it's called El Sueño de las Hojas and framed this. And I don't know if probably you can see it, but right here is uh, my, my signature, the number and the date. But you know what I'm saying, right? Like, again, this is just a starting point. This is just to give you a couple of ideas. Right, let me just put this away. As creators, I think that the sky's the limit. Especially during this season where there's a lot of giving presents, receiving stuff like that. You know, you can seriously give something really, really cool and unique. So, yeah, man. So I really hope you like this video. And especially, I really hope it has given you a couple of ideas on your own on what to do to the people you love on this holiday season. And before I end this video, if you have your own ideas, by all means, make sure you post them in the comment section so I can get a little bit of inspiration myself. I'm not quite sure when are you going to be watching this video, but by the time I post it, Christmas is going to be very close. So I wish you a Merry Christmas if you don't celebrate Christmas. I wish you happy holidays and all the best. Let's have amazing food, let's have some family time. This is definitely, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye. I also wrote a couple of ideas down. I don't know if, if you make any videos, do you do, you do that or is that just like my thing? I'm not sure. I, I reckon like a lot of people just do it automatically and I would, I'm pretty sure they actually do it way better than me, but me, yeah. I kind of need like my ideas, so...